Hello guys, welcome back and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can increase your FPS in a rematch. So it's a brand new game, a lot of bugs, a lot of settings to uh, configure out. I had a terrible FPS and I digged through the internet and made sure to check all the best options for uh, my FPS to increase in this game and right now I have as you can see very fluid game with no lag at all. So all you need to do is make sure to follow this tutorial until the end and I am going to show you how you can increase your FPS in rematch so let's begin so uh, we're now on to the desktop and I'm going to show you a couple of things you need to do in order to increase your uh, FPS uh, make sure to follow all the stuff that I'm going to show you right now and yeah let's begin so first off what you need to do is go to uh, the start button right here click on it and uh, make sure to click on run so uh, we're going to use the uh, run code uh, percentage temp percentage uh, click on okay and uh, you're going to see a folder uh, with a lot of files that are basically your cache memory here in our temp folder, make sure to delete everything that is in the temp folder. So don't worry, this is just your cache memory stored on your PC and it will free up a lot of your uh, RAM memory and GPU memory. So just make sure to select all, uh, right click and delete it. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now as I'm recording, but after you do it, uh, go to uh, bottom right corner, you're gonna see your app arrow uh, and you are going to see uh, the uh, GeForce, it's not right here, but I'm gonna go it, uh, and open it like this. GeForce NVIDIA. Yeah, so he here it is, one second, NVIDIA control panel. Uh, once NVIDIA control panel is opened, uh, you are going to go for manage 3D settings. So once you click on it, uh, you're gonna have a window with uh, a lot of uh, options you will um, be able to select and change. However, we are going to focus only on two things, triple buffering, triple buffering should be off, and vertical sync, uh, use the 3D application settings. Make sure that you have both options selected like I have, because uh, later on we are going to go back in the game and inside the game we are going to configure out the vertical sync. Uh, once you configure this uh, part uh, up, uh, there is one, most, one small step that we're going to do right now before we actually go into uh, the game and uh, figure out the settings. So uh, what we're going to do right now, we're going to use the file explorer, uh, go to uh, your SSD or wherever your uh, Steam is installed, uh, make sure to go to program files, uh, go to Steam, as you can see right here, uh, go to common uh, Steam apps, common, and uh, you're going to see all of your games that you have on Steam. So the ones that we are actually focusing on right now is the rematch, go there and you will see the client and uh, the actual game. So what we need to do right now is click on the actual game, which is named start uh, underscore pr uh, protected underscore game, click on right click, go to the properties and click on compatibility. So you will have this window opened up and uh, all we need to do right now is uh, compatibility mode, uh, click on yes and click on Windows 7. Um, then after you finish that, make sure to tick the run this program as administrator uh, and that should be it. Click on apply and OK. Uh, this will basically put your game into Windows 7 compatibility mode. You're not going to notice any changes. However, it will reduce your RAM memory and GPU memory. So you'll have a lot of uh, a lot more FPS while you're inside the game. And now uh, at the end, uh, we are going to open up the game and uh, we are going to uh, go and check the settings. Okay, so once you're in the game, uh, all you need to do is go to the system uh, tab right here, go to options, 
and uh, we are going to uh, check if your uh, video settings are uh, fully uh, set uh, for the FPS and optimized for the FPS. So, uh, window mode, make sure to always put it on full screen. The reason for that is that uh, RAM memory and uh, GPU memory mostly focuses on the full screen apps. So, in order to prioritize uh, the focus of RAM memory and uh, the GPU memory, we have to put it on full screen. Then uh, later on, you can uh, adjust your resolution all the way down to whatever you prefer uh, to be the best, um, I would say, the most optimized one. Uh, so for me, uh, full HD works fine. So um, 1920 times uh, 1080 is fully okay with me. And then go to VSync. Uh, you have this. You should have this option enabled. So in most of the gaming tutorials, you're gonna hear people say that you should disable your VSync. However, I found out that my lag completely stopped and I gained at least 30 to 40 FPS just by putting the VSync on enabled. So yeah, this is why I'm having it on enabled. Uh, next up. We have an uh, anti-aliasing uh, method. Uh, so for this option, make sure to uh, make sure to set it on FXAA. Um, the reason for that is this is the fastest uh, F, uh, uh, the fastest anti-aliasing method. And later on, we will have one more setting uh, regarding the anti-aliasing. So yeah, make sure to put it on FXAA. Turn off your motion blur. Uh, not only that it is going to uh, increase your FPS, but it is going to also make your uh, game look much more smoother. Uh, next up, uh, go to the graphics quality. And uh, so for the graphics quality, I'll put everything on low except the a couple of uh, stuff right here. Uh, so first off, if you want, you can put your texture quality back to the uh, medium. Uh, it will not change much of the FPS wise, but your game is going to look much, much better. So for the texture quality, feel free to put it up uh, on the medium. Uh, shadow quality should be on low, effects quality on low, uh, view distance quality on low as well. It will not mess up with your uh, um, the game ga uh, game looks. However, it will give you an extremely big boost in uh, the FPS. Uh, grass quality, click on disabled. Some people put it on the medium. However, I really prefer it to be on disabled uh, because of the uh, F FPS uh, optimization. Crowd quality, click on disabled uh, as well. Uh, uh, yeah, post processing quality, very low or low. Uh, and uh, anti aliasing quality, when you put it on FXAA, make sure uh, to go and uh, click on low. Once you finish all of that, uh, just make sure to put uh, automatic, uh, just click on automatically set graphics quality. So every time your game is going to run, uh, it will be loaded like that. Uh, in the gameplay tab, we have uh, we have no settings except for only one. Uh, make sure to uh, click uh, on uh, camera shake, put it all the back to the zero because uh, camera shake can also uh, make your game look much more, much more smoother when it's disabled. And for the camera field, uh, field of view, uh, don't overdo it. Uh, make sure it's somewhere in the middle because it also uh, eats your FPS. So with that said, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. This is everything you can do to maximize your FPS in the game. Um, yeah, make sure to like this video and I'll see you in the next one.